I don't know if I'm supposed to be over here right now, but check out my beautiful baby orchard. This here is a really old um, pie cherry, sour cherry tree. This here is a, a baby uh, Stella sweet cherry tree. So fertile. Compost pit. This here is the main orchard and everything you see in a tomato cage is a baby pawpaw. I've got like maybe five or six different varieties. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them. Twelve baby pawpaws that made it through the winter again. And um, also have goji berry. Down here is a nectarine harco, self-fertile nectarine tree. These over here, I wasn't sure how they did. In. I had a theory that their roots grew like crazy last year because they got very little foliage at all. These are Chica Chicago hardy fig trees, two of them. And they're actually a, a Mediterranean variety or Greek variety. Um, and then I got male and female. I got kiwi, Anna and Meator are kiwi vines. And I got the two fig trees, but check out how much they grow. This is them. I mean, they were like nothing last year. So their roots must have really developed in the shade. My shrubs are out of control. These guys were like half the size last year. These guys are just out of control. This is my Arrowwood Viburnum hedgerow. And when it comes to invasive vines like wild grape or whatever the hell this shit is, sometimes it's better not to cut it, but to actually let it grow a little bit and then flip it over on itself. Because if you cut it, it's just gonna branch out and come out more. But if you flip it over, it's gonna grow in another direction and you might even smother. If you have like a property that goes whoop and it keeps like melting down, you see this fence here, like the ground is like melting into the neighbors and the fence is gonna melt down. Well, it's really easy to build it up if you have access to like yard debris, sticks, branches and stuff. I've built this up and you can see you just put it down. It, it kills weeds and uh, builds up your ground. The easiest way to weed the garden is to mulch with a capital M. When they say four to six inches of mulch, put down four to six inches of mulch. Wood chips maybe, but then there's nothing like a good old hoe. Use a hoe when they're still kind of small. And with most plants, this works on dandelions, little baby oak trees, whatever, uh, thistles, um, Keep your old hoe good and sharp, and she'll take care of you. For wider areas, a nice metal rake works good. Here's a little bit after I just uh, went around with a big rake. This stuff was super easy to get rid of. You see these little uh, yellow flowery plants? I'm pretty sure those are some kind of like wild columbine. Or at least their leaves look similar to columbine. 